Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Good morning, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. Today is Tuesday, and I'm here to spill some tea. So if you guys do not know, Miss Azealia Banks is trending number one in the world. And the reason why good old Azealia Banks is once again trending, she's trending for several reasons. We're going to talk about the first reason, honey, okay? So the first reason why Azealia Banks is trending is because (laughs) nobody. Nobody at all. Here comes Azealia. Y'all want to see me dig up my dead cat and boil him and and use him in rituals? So basically what happened is that Azealia Banks, out of nowhere, decided to dig up her dead cat. How long has this cat really been dead? Not really sure. But this is what Azealia Banks captioned. She says, Lucifer, 2009 to 2020. Dear Kitty, thank you for everything. A legend and icon. Forever a servial server. And so the cat was clearly in the ground in a bag and she digs up this cat. And y'all know this video is even hard for me to talk about because I don't even like cats when they're alive, let alone dead. So this shit freaked me out watching it. I'm just not a cat fan. You know, no offense to people who, you know, cherish and worship their cats. You know, that's between you and your cat. I'm just scared of cats because I don't know. (laughs) Childhood trauma. But anyways, um, I watched her dig up this cat, which was disturbing enough And then she proceeded to boil said kitty, okay? And then showed us pictures of his skull and everything else. This is all on her Instagram story. I'm going to show you guys kind of what she did. Everything is blurred out, so you're not going to necessarily see it. I just want you guys to hear what she's saying, but I'm not going to show the pictures of the cat's skull and all that stuff. I've gone ahead and just, you know, pixelated it. Um, But y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Boom. The cat is in the bag. All right, so you guys just watched the video, heard what she said. And the reason why she did this is that she is digging up the cat Lucifer, very interesting name, Azealia, to bring him back from the grave. Now, she also went on to her Instagram page and she also went on to post this. Um, Basically, she says, I made it out of hell, Miami, USA, let's go. Then she also posted this picture as well. And you can see this is like kind of like a Santa Ria shrine. And you can see the cat's skull. I'm assuming that's the cat's skull, but I'm not 100% sure. It says the beauty, the true Palera. So I went to go research it because I wanted to know what Palera meant. And looky, looky, once again, it ties into, you know, African spirituality, Santa Ria, Palo, and all that stuff that I've been kind of, you know, talking about. It basically says that it's a ritualized boner powder, which is set for ceremony ceremonies um as most poleros would say so this is all ritualistic and esoterical and i believe this is why she dug up her dead cat lucifer so i'm gonna go ahead and play you guys the videos here where she's talking about this situation so y'all go ahead and check this out now i realize that a lot of y'all pussy ass bitches that don't know what's really going on right here that don't know about what's really happening right here Y'all, y'all, y'all gonna be like, oh, mm-hmm. this is fucking California. Through all the fucking tears and sufferings and fucking wildfires and fucking just gender identity crisis bullshit. The girls were her one bottle of Viva Clica and the last little squirt of Chanel number five to boom. Never fucking bullshit, but listen, honey. That's a fucking warrior. If, if that's not a fucking warrior, bitch, then I don't know what the fuck a fucking warrior is. Now, we finally booked our fucking... We got... We got- All right, so you guys just watched those videos, and so she's basically talking about how she's leaving California, she's moving to Miami. Um, A lot of people are questioning if this is, um, you know, Santeria. It's either Santeria or Palo, one of the two. But what is so interesting... Okay, to all my Discorders, if you guys remember what I posted just the other day on Discord, and basically I was telling you guys, we are in a new era. 
This is what I wrote on January 9th. I said, please be aware that rituals are being performed more than ever. These old religions and spiritual practices are fighting to come back more than ever. You had people worshiping Norse gods. You had people practicing old African spirituality. All of this is happening for a reason. These deities are using people as vessels to come into our physical realm to wreak chaos and havoc. Sorry if I sound crazy. It's hard to explain. Anyways, here goes some breaking news from Florida. And then I went on to basically post the story that we had received where um, these two men, they basically were arrested because they stole skulls from veterans in a Florida cemetery and they were using them for rituals. And they were using them to practice Palo Mayombre, which is an ancient African religion brought to Cuba by the slaves. And so this like caused a huge debate, huge discussion. Um, sometimes they use animal skulls and animal parts in their rituals and to make, you know, potions and things like that. But they were using human parts. And one of the things that they said in that article is that in America, it's a little bit harder for them to get these human parts. So they go to the cemetery to try and dig them up. Whereas in like Cuba and Puerto Rico, it's a little bit easier, which is kind of disturbing because it's like if you're not going to the cemetery to get already dead people, where are you getting these folks from? Do these rituals but you know definitely cause a discussion and again like I said I don't knock anybody's spirituality what people practice because there's good and bad in everything I hate when people try to act like their religion is just perfect and good I hate when people who you know who practice you know African spirituality or you know or practicing witches act like, oh, because they're good and they have good intentions, everybody in their religion does. Absolutely not. That'd be like me saying, oh, everybody in the Christian religion is perfect and they all have good intentions. Absolutely not. I've met some of the biggest devils in the Christian religion. So there's good and bad in every. So I don't understand why some people take offense whenever you just happen to point out something that's going on in that particular, you know, religion. But this is facts. So these men were arrested. It took place in Florida. And I find it very interesting that Azealia Banks is also practicing a similar religion. Um, she's also doing a lot of spiritual stuff and digging up cats and, you know, doing all this macabre stuff, just like these men in Florida were arrested for. Now, Azealia has always had shrines. Um, we talked about it in the last live stream where she had shrines and she was basically placing curses on Rihanna and other people in the industry. You know, while I've always said that I do believe that Azealia understands a lot of stuff with, you know, spirituality, African spirituality, things in the spiritual realm. The problem is she's also batshit crazy, which is not a good mix. You know what I'm saying? You can't dabble with spirits and rituals and not be all there mentally. It's going to cause more harm on herself than it is to the people that she's trying to wish harm on. And it's definitely not helping her career. Now, a lot of folks are upset about the cat video, rightfully so. But let's keep it real. The cat was already dead. It's not like she killed the cat. The cat was ready in the ground. But it is very disturbing to watch her not only dig up the cat named Lucifer, but then to boil him. She didn't have to do all that, you know, and the thing is she has people around her like there's always like friends in her videos, you know, and it's like, I don't, are they freaked out seeing all this shit? Because I'd be kind of freaked out if my friend went into her backyard, dug up her dead cat, and then started boiling it. Bitch, I'm gone. Deuces. You know what I'm saying? But maybe that's just me. But anyways, on top of her trending for boiling her cat and publicly showing off her Apollo shrine, um, she's also trending for bullying um, Meg the Stallion and um, Doja Cat. She's basically going in on them, saying that they're both fat, they need to lose weight. Uh, she said Doja Cat has an old white woman's face. I mean, she drugged these two for, you know, several minutes, honey. So y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Get into how much fucking cellulite this bitch Little Doja right. Cat has right. and her That's fucking insane. old white lady face. This bitch is disgusting. Look at this old white lady face. No. First of all, Ew. First of all, yeah. ew. Wow. Ew. Sagging. No, ew. tagging. Disgusting. Me <laughs> this is disgusting. Ew. Uh, no, ew. I'm sorry. This no, is disgusting. No, no. Ew. Ew. I want to throw up. Ew. Look at that. No, the face looks drunk and tired and lazy. <laughs> Uh -uh. The ah. face looks drunk, tired, lazy, Ew. exhaustion. Oh. Ew. Oh, no, that's not good. No, I don't give a fuck with this body positivity bullshit. This is disgusting. No, Doja, you look fat. No, Doja, you look fat and you look disgusting. Say it like, you know. No. No, you gotta say it like. 
No, you. This is disgusting. This is pre diabetic, bitch. Disgusting. I don't know. And it, it's crazy how China is really like playing a joke in American spaces. Like, they're like, okay, let's just get all the fucking. Let's get booty. Let's get wigs. Let's get light skin and just throw it all in a fucking blender and Americans will eat it up. This is terrible. Doja, you're fat. Doja. No, Doja, you're fat! This is so dirty and disgusting. I'm sorry. No, them ain't them knees? Them cankles? No. No. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about in this culture. This is bullshit. This is disgusting. No! Why, why is she eating all the sugar? Why sugar? <laughs> Stop eating white sugar! No! This is what they give. Ew! This is what they give. Oh! Ah. No! That's no! Stink! It stink! Tanko! Stink! Tank! Tank! It stink, bitch! No! TikTok China! TikTok! TikTok! Ew! 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 No! No! No, that dirty. You look dirty. You an alley Oh, this is disgusting. You an alley No! Ew! Ew! And the fact that America is buying this up as like some body positivity shit that's really being pushed on us by China. This fucking dumbass shit, this doja cat bullshit. This fat this shit, girl it's, shit. This fat girl shit uh, is trash. Where her old white lady face. Oh, look at her booty. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> her fucking old white lady face. Y'all not gonna keep doing my girl jokes. Doja. <laughs> Doja. <laughs> that is. Look at this fat girl. Heavy metal and reflective shit. I'm sorry, Meg the Stallion. You look like a fucking fat girl. <laughs> this bullshit cash up fantasy. Ew, look at that gut. No! Mm-mm! <laughs> Too much beef! <laughs> Too much beef! Too much Ooh. meat! Too much oh, meat! Oh no, Meg! You're getting meat. fat! Jig a load of meat! Jig a load of meat! Look! Jig go! I'm a fat Please girl! Go. I'm a fat Please. girl! <laughs> With the fat shit! <laughs> you get a fat girl movement, look! You get boom! No! <laughs> <laughs> no fat girl with the fat shit. No, no, Meg, no. Ew, look at that guy. All right, so you guys just heard what she had to say about not only um, Doja Cat, but Meg Thee Stallion. And like I said, I believe that Azealia Banks, she's another person who has very low self-esteem, but she tries to guise it in the guise of, you know, being knowledgeable or being woke. But she just really has low self-esteem because, again, you know, you've done things to your body. You might be blessed to just be naturally skinny. These girls are on the thicker side, and that's okay. But let's not forget that you've also done things to more enhance your body. Remember, I got some new titties, y'all. I still got some new titties, y'all. So it's funny that you can do things to make yourself thicker in certain areas, but yet and still you want to drag them. You know, the problem is Azealia Banks' career has gone nowhere, okay? Talented girl, but, you know, unfortunately because her attitude is so negative, her, literally, her career has gone nowhere. So she's literally resorted to casting spells on multiple celebrities, blasting Elon Musk and getting subpoenaed by the U.S. government, shaving off her hair on Instagram Live. I don't want to burn myself, though. Oof. Like, oh.
Yes. I just feel like years of trauma and years of drama and years of just fucking like energy just came off. Like, woo! Doing voodoo dances, you know, and people try to say I was bugging, she was just dancing. No, I, I, I recognize those voodoo knees, okay? So she's doing all this shit and none of this has helped her. And because it hasn't helped her career, she's mad and she's projecting. She wishes she was where Doja Cat is. She wishes she was where Meg Thee Stallion is. And because she's not, she'd rather throw shade and call them fat and, you know, make fun of their physical characteristics. But at the end of the day, fat or not, they're where you wish you could be. So let's keep that real. And I think it's really sad. It's like she needs to do better. You know, like I said, she's a very talented young woman, but her attitude and her negativity is why she's gone nowhere. I mean, she's hated on everyone in the industry from Nicki Minaj to Beyonce to Rihanna to Cardi B. She has something to say about everyone. And unfortunately, people see through the smoke and mirrors and through, you know, the, the woke talk. She does make good points every now and then. But the majority of the stuff that she says and does on social media, to me, reeks of low self-esteem. You know, she wants to be a part of that in crowd. And because she hasn't been invited to sit at that table, she's upset and she's continuously projecting onto others her own insecurities. Maybe she low key wishes she had more ass. But unfortunately, because she's so thin, she doesn't have enough fat on her for a fat transfer. So she's projecting. But, you know, it's OK, sis. Just keep on boiling and eating cats and eventually you'll gain the weight and you, too, can go get your ass done. OK, so anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping, honey. I want to hear y'all thoughts on this mess concerning once again, Azealia Banks. How do you guys feel about her and all of these practices that she's doing on social media, digging up her dead cat, Lucifer, boiling him and then creating a whole shrine? And then how do you guys feel about her? You know, once again, hating on other female celebrities who are doing better than her. How do you feel about what she had to say about Doe? your cat and about Meg the Stallion and then last but not least do you agree with me um that a lot of these old religious practices are coming back more than ever and you know folks need to stay woke and need to stay prepared because like I always say once again we are not just fighting in the physical realm we are fighting many battles and a lot of them are spiritual and unseen. But you know, again, some of y'all think I'm batshit crazy, but it is what it is. So anyways, y'all go ahead and leave a comment. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Share the video. Let me know your thoughts and let's go ahead and get this discussion popping. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.